Alice, full speed to the Goddess of Blossoms. Why the rush? It is just the statue, is it not? Shows how much you know, Monsieur Smarty Pants. She's the symbol of the city. We can't just stand by and let those aliens defile her. It's worse. The super reactor powering Margarita is inside the goddess. If Geth Jerk knocks it offline, Earth is done for. Uh, yeah, and the end of the world thing he just said. I think we know who wears these smarty pants around here. Touche, dude. Goddess of Blossoms at 1,000 meters. Large jerk matter signature in the vicinity. What on Earth? Damaging the statue. Ultra high res imaging on the way. Hey, kid. Luca. nominal inside the statue. The super reactor is still operational. Alice, full speed ahead. We're going to get back that statue. Wonderful 100, prepare to deploy on deck. We've got new rules of engagement. I'm approving the use of unlimited form. Make the most of it and get me back my goddess. Roger, Shirogane drive limiters deactivated. Engaging unlimited form. Collecting elements of the atomic particles from space, wonderful ones are able to form a limitless energy source for their Sentinel suit's next-generation Shirogane drives. This is emergency operation mode, unlimited form. Disabling their Shirogane drive limiters, they push their suits to reach new levels of unite energy capacity. However, this power comes at a cost. Extended operation in unlimited form can cause considerable damage to team members, and an overheating drive can explode with teratons of force. The ultimate weapon is the ultimate double-edged sword. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, my name is 
Allison Cruz, and after that lengthy cutscene, welcome back to the wonderful 101, where we're taking the battle to the skies on top of the Virgin Victory. Um, you use Wonder Hand to control it, and it's actually a pretty nifty section. Um, we're going to be shooting back and forth with A and X, and uh, you can just like hold the buttons and make them shoot pretty fast that way, but if you tap both of them at the same time, you'll shoot a lot more efficiently. And uh, all the while, these two dragon heads are uh, they are going to be shooting us. And uh, if you can shoot their projectiles as it's leaving their mouth, you'll do an extra chunk of damage. Uh, you want to watch out for various debris and things like that because, for the most part, this first part is not that bad. And this is a three-part battle, pretty much. And I can never get above gold in this. Um, for the first time playing this, like right here, I don't think we're even get above silver. And that's just because the game is very strange on this hit detection. And there are no checkpoints here. There's not a single place you can save here. So let's go speed up to get out of that and start shooting again. I'm um, going to watch out. He'll do that a couple times. This first part is all scripted. He'll always go the same way and typically do the same stuff. So um, there are no checkpoints here. If you uh, die or if you want to restart from a certain segment, you can't do it. So that kind of sucks. Um, so we're just going to keep on shooting until we get his health all the way diminished. I'm not a huge fan of this fight, but this is pretty intense as far as things go so it's it's pretty cool to look at and let's watch out don't be too low over there yeah. um, but it, it's it's all right just my hand really kind of starts hurting after this because I'm shooting so much there we go all right sweet so now that, that part is done you've got him on the ropes now we've got to shoot an anchor onto the back of his tail I don't know how he's still flying even though he's completely dazed but I guess with two-thirds of your brain locked out you should be fine anyway this part is really wonky because on certain parts where it seems like you should have latched on, you really don't. So I'm not a big fan of this. Um, see, look at it. You're supposed to do it when it's green, but it's clearly not doing it. Alright, let's see. Let's try it right here. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. I don't know what the formula is for this. Maybe it's just... Let's, let's try it here. You gotta wait for it to turn green. And there we... How did that make it? Really, how? Anyway, um, we have to go ahead and uh, balance across this. It's not really that bad. I don't even know if you can fall off, but it'd be pretty embarrassing if you could. Uh, so you'll notice our our unite gauge is actually all the way filled. That's very useful. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Man, he is really kind of mad, isn't he? <laughs> all right, there, Dolph Lundgren. Jesus Christ, he's kind of freaking out there. Alright, so fortunately we were able to save ourselves on his ta or on his fins here. You want to be careful for those um, razors coming out of them. They'll hurt you, and it's kind of embarrassing to get hurt by them. So, be very careful. Where we now take the fight to his back. So if you go ahead and just shoot him, you'll be able to do a lot of preliminary damage. Um, depending on what moves these guys do here, you can get some pretty decent cycles. But for the most part, um, with our current loadout right now, we're not going to be getting rid of this very fast. So. Sometimes they'll shoot fire at us. Um, you can be careful because sometimes... Awesome. Okay, so they'll drop citizens here, usually about 20 at a time. So that's really good. After you deal a set amount of damage. And you want to be very careful for this one right here. Go ahead and bring out your sword, and it'll reflect the laser right into his buddy's face. I really appreciate that. He's like, stop it, you idiot! And sweet, he dropped another one already. Alright. So Unite Gun is pretty good for this part for I mean, the time being. In my opinion, ooh, in this one you're going to be really careful. Don't get caught on that, otherwise you're going to be kind of SOL. Watch out for the fire again. Um, in my opinion, this mission is really irritating to get more than a silver on. I can never do it. Um, and I'll get into that a little bit later. But this mission is just, it's weird. There are no checkpoints and it's annoying. But let's get rid of this guy. Do as much as you can there. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Wow. Our multiplier is really high right now. So we're definitely getting platinum on that. And this should be our final intake of uh, civilians that we can take. So thank you very much. And can we attack somebody, please? Okay. Be careful right here. The bulls start attacking us. Sometimes they'll try and smash their heads at you. You can actually unite guts against that. But just be careful. And, ooh, Lambo's already here. Okay. 
All right, let's go. Let's go, buddy. Oh, I missed that. All right, let's, uh, come on. Let's do this. All right. All right. Well, at least we got our combo up pretty high there, but we've got a rematch against this asshole right here. So let's go take him out once again, just like we did last time. This area, or this fight is a little irritating because sometimes it has the tendency to slow down a little bit, but not as bad as some other ones. There's one in the next level in particular that is really bad. So we'll go ahead and do our same little... Oh my god, what happened there? Something happened there. <laughs> um, do the same tactics as last time. Just try not to attack him too much head on, otherwise a lot of your... Your squadron will get confused and not know what to do. Come on, we can take him out. We can do it. Come on. This is for making the expendable PG-13. Just kidding. I never actually even have seen any of them, so... I don't know. So he should be dead here. Please don't attack me. He is almost done. We've just got one last thing to do here, and he's, of course, in the block and that. If we can do this without taking a single hit, that would be nice. Oh, of course, right at the goddamn end. He goes right through me. All right, all right, come on, come on. Get up, get up, get up, team. I have nothing. There we go. As you could tell, I was attacking with just myself. I didn't have, like, an imaginary sword with me. What's happening here? All right, so more set pieces. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Night hand. And now, press the A button as fast as you can because... Well, there we go. Mm, there we go. Get lots of money for that. <laughs> Alright, so now we're back to here. God, Lambo came out really soon there. I don't know why. Oh, what's going on? Oh, another one of these really random ones. <laughs> Not a fan of this one. It's because they'll do it randomly, but... There we go. It won't give you, like, any money. So it'd be nice if they could do a couple of uh, different moves here that would allow me to demonstrate the awesomeness of uh, Unite Guts in certain places. They'll start destroying parts of the city that'll come falling down on you, and it's really cool, um, because you can unite Guts those into their faces and stuff, and, wow, I got, like, all of my team there, but also if they slam their head against the ground, like, right here, I think, yeah, that would have been a good one to do it on, you can actually do it there, and it'll smack the other guy in the face, there's a lot of, like, really cool things you can do during a lot of the majorly epic boss fights, oh, not hitting anything there, but, uh, let's see, let's see what they're gonna do next, we're doing nothing, Ooh. There we go. Whew. That was really close. Alright, cool. Is he gonna is he gonna drop his head? Sometimes I'll drop his head and you'll actually be in range, but there really wasn't an issue there. God damn it. So he's doing this again. Usually they don't do this this often. I don't know what United Green was doing there. Mm. Press the A button to do things. Okay, sweet! So can can these guys be dead already? Also, I don't know if I mentioned this, and ooh, right there, there it is. Um, I'm not going to be showing the bottom screen for this, I hope you guys don't mind. Um, it's just because, I don't know, I just, the reason why I put it there in the first place is to kind of flesh out the gameplay a little more, just in case for those of you who are unfamiliar, and you wanted to see what was going on, oop, that was bad, um, see what was going on down there. <laughs> Um, but for this particular fight, it is not really necessary at all, since we're in the same place and, oh shit. Well, this isn't good. Alright, let's do it! Let's see how close to zero we can get before doing this. I can't wait till we get speed liner. I should have bought it before this. And boom! 0.05. We got 50 on there. There we go. 39,000. Alright, so one of them is dead. Now, this part is really annoying. This is something I don't like about this game. Is by doing Unite builds that require all 100 of your heroes. See right there? Okay, I barely missed it, but... Or I barely got it. But it's really annoying. Anyway, we took control of this one with all 100. You need 100 to do it. Otherwise, you need to wait for the other guy. Then we can go and tap me a little bit more here. I got 39,000 again. I never seem to get higher than that, but... There it is. Beautiful. Alright, so we defeated two-thirds of this Orochi, revived master. Alright, now for the final leg of the fight. We're gonna be falling. This should be hmm. high enough. Say goodbye to your beloved blossom. <laughs> Team, let's get her back. 
Okay, so this is the part that it's really weird because if um, he destroys the platform you're standing on, you automatically get hurt and you lose that platform. But what's really unusual is that, I, like right here, okay, you would think you would need to use your sword here, but it doesn't reflect his rays and I'll always die there. I don't know why. I thought maybe if you attacked him while he was doing it, then you would be good, but clearly not. So be ready for Wonder Jump, you know, and just keep throwing stuff at him with Wonder Hand. And then we got our Unite Hand. Sorry, I keep confusing those. So let's go and uh, try this one more time. And he'll do it, I think, two more times, at least once more. Where even if you use Unite Sword, it doesn't work. Like right here. Ugh. Like that. Like that. And, oh, well that wasn't supposed to happen. He wasn't supposed to hit me there. But, like, he'll do the same ray. Or no. Maybe it wasn't this one. Probably the next one. Yeah, we're definitely only getting silver on this. Especially because I took so long against Lambo and stuff, but Wonder Jump! There we go. We keep throwing stuff at him while we can. And there's nowhere else you can jump either. Like, he'll stay here, and, like, Wonder Sword won't do anything. It'll just go right through you and hurt you. So I don't know what's up with, with this particular segment. It's weird, but, like, this'll destroy us. No matter what. Yeah, like, that's unavoidable. I've never been able to get past that without doing this flawlessly. Like... I don't know, unless it's something I'm missing that's really obvious, but if I can't reflect the rays and throwing explosives in his face while he's doing that doesn't work, then I don't know. But uh, let's jump across here. I'm gonna have to do this a couple times, so. Alright, we're getting near the statue. Ooh, that was very loud. There we go. And once again, beautiful. Oh, alright. It's a beautiful statue. It's a little revealing, though. <laughs> alright. Night Sword! Let's see if we can get better than .05. Can we do it? And... Nope. I want to be safe. I don't want to get hurt, but... There we go. With this, get ready now for a third transformation. There we go. You're gone a couple times, and... With this, beautiful. Not so fast, worms! My gentle bow would like to have a word with you, and that word is die. That's not very nice. So, um, this is another kind of uh thing you want to be careful for. There it is. Time it just right so that you can uh, attack him with your own sword. Otherwise, um, you know, you'll miss. And this uses the same very odd timing that swinging the bat does, because swinging your sword takes a little bit of time. So once again, just wait a little bit when it goes in slow mo, and then you'll be good. But, with this, one last swipe should be enough to do it. So let's do it. Let's take care of Lambo once and for all with the giant <laughs> Wonder Sword. Please don't run out by the time he gets here. Don't run out. Oh, yeah! Alright, there it is. Yeah! Alright. Now the Unite build of the century. Are you guys ready? <sighs> here he goes. Get in there. Oh, baby. He says. 
Goddess of Blossoms recovered. Super reactor output nominal. Brilliant. Let's take her home. Operation 001 complete. Flight path clear. Virgin Victory returning Goddess of Blossoms to original position. Red, prepare for laser teleportation. Roger! Bro, what's up with the kid? He's a student in my class. His name is Luca. that the very first operation has been completed in its entirety we got the vile and vicious sixth very nice and unfortunately we still only got a silver took a little more damage than i would have liked and you know because we don't have that great of unite morphs quite yet to be able to deal a lot of damage in a single combo we weren't able to complete it fast enough so but that's fine i'll come back and do this uh, a little bit later and get some more money especially when we get particular better ones but next time on we're going to be completing uh, the second series of levels that still takes place in Blossom City, but it's still pretty cool. And as the levels progress, I feel like I like them a lot more. So I hope to see you guys then as we enter the Blossom City Center and uh, maybe recruit a couple more members. I don't know. You guys are going to have to find out next time, all right? Hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you guys then.